Shalom. Welcome to the Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Delmar and together with my co-host Mark Rohner to stay my news service, jbiztechphilly.com. And as you can see, now columnist for the Jewish press. Right, I write about, uh, I have a column called Albany Beat. It's the third week of every month, it appears. And I talk about how government relates to the Jewish community or doesn't, as the case may be. So now we have with us today Senator Roxanne Prasad. And uh, from my home community that I grew up That's in, grew Mill up. Basin, yeah. he represents, and also Canarsie and a lot of other uh, Georgetown community and a lot of other areas in that southeast Brooklyn. South, southeast Brooklyn, yeah. yeah. Thanks well, for having me. Well, it's wonderful to see you here. Uh, you had a short stint in the assembly. Yeah. About. Everyone says, well, it's a meteoric rise. Yeah, but but yes. you've done a good job over here already as Senate. You know, I, I do my best. And yeah, before yeah. you were in the assembly, you were? I was a college registrar. My entire yeah. career was spent in higher education. And collecting and money? Is that what a registrar <laughs> does? No, yeah. that's the bursar. Oh. Actually, before my, the, my last college, I was the director of student financial services also. So the registrar and the student financial services. So what does registrar do? The registrar is the person who makes sure that every policy um, is adhered to that. So you take care of the students from the time after admission to graduation and beyond. You're responsible for whether it's their registration, their transcripts, transfer credits, everything pertaining to their academic life at the college. And which school, and then, which college? Uh, where I left St. Francis College in downtown Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, okay. And prior to that, I was at Pace University. And you have an accent, so I guess you're from Guyana. Everyone has an accent. Yes. Yeah. Everyone. I'm from Chicago, a, I, and I, they tell me I have an accent. I hear a Guyanese here. accent. It is a Guyanese ah, accent. There, there is a Guyanese <laughs> accent, yes. I came, I came to the U.S. At, at the age of 17, and so... Oh, I, you, you know, you do at have times, a meteoric rise at times yeah, the accent special. comes out, you know. But yes. you, know, I, you know, of course, I'm a Chabad, so therefore our headquarters <clears> is 770 Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn, and I go through your senatorial district, and I've been around for so many years, you can see my white beard. <laughs> and, you know, before it was uh, the terrible, you know, that uh, inner city, and now it's like being built up. It and is it's being incredible. built up. Yep. Um, what we want it to be built up, but For we also sure. want to make sure that while we're building it up, the people who were, are living there, the people who struggle through hard times can afford to remain there. Um, so that's what, we, what we're fighting for. But it's fabulous what's happening. Um, we need it to boost the economy of the district, mm -hmm. and that's, what, that's what's happening. Well, your district goes into Brownsville. It starts, it's Brownsville, it's well, East it New York. Ends there, I know, it yes. It goes and, that's, Brownsville. and that's where a lot of... Um, the development is happening yeah, now, yes. Yeah. Yes, you know? yeah. I mean, million dollar condos yeah. in Brownsville? Well. I mean, I remember Mike Tyson growing up. Growing there, up right? there, yes. But, but think of that it. That was the neighborhood from Mill Basin that I was told not no. to go to. You know? But you know what? It's, it so happened that many of the Jewish member community came from East New York, yes. Brownsville. Yes. yes. So, yes. Oh, so that's where they came from. Yeah. And they moved up, right. And then they moved into Canarsie and Mill Basin and all that. But they started there. Yes. So, you know. Um, it's a community that was always changing, and um, you know, change is good, well, you, but yes. we have to ensure we take care of who's there. Yeah, we no, do not want to sure. displace I mean, anyone. Just, it is. It's incredible because <clears throat> I have children again in Crown Heights, which is only a few miles away from mm -hmm. Brussels, so it's really the same general area. And you know, they want to buy a house. I mean, they're young people. And like you said, a million dollars to buy a house, I mean, compared to the... It's not even a house, a condo. A condo. Yeah. Without, and you have no backyard, you have no parking, right. you've, what do you have, you know? Yeah. Just to say, well, wow, it's prestige, yes. yes. And I, so it's I, I people who... <laughs> well, you walk around Brownsville, you know, it's this misconception that Brownsville is just a lot of... Um, developments, housing, NYCHA developments. It's not really so. No, no, there are I many homeowners is, I there. Think yeah. think high crime. Well, not... Like, excuse me. That's my image. That may not be true now, but that's... Yeah, but you know what? There are many neighborhoods that were transformed yes. that people thought were high crime. And look at them now. Prospect Park. Williamsburg. Williamsburg, yeah. You know, know. all of these neighborhoods. Yeah. People were talking. It's it's high crime. Oh, we will never go there. And then who At lives night. there now? Yeah. People, they walk. Everybody's walking around like, oh, no big deal. It is. Oh, I so live beautiful. in Billyburg. It's like Billyburg. Where's Billyburg? You know. Um, but that's what happens. Um, so, 
things oh, shift. Ting, it's things so great, change. Though. Things and change. Mill Basin, which was swanky when my folks moved there in mm -hmm. the early 60s, $30,000 for a home. Now it's million dollars. Mil they, yeah. They, they buy a home for a million, tear, tear it, down, it down, and build a $3 million home. That's room. right. Yeah, that's three stories because one or two stories isn't enough. Mm -hmm. you know, well, and, the and district is like that. You know, we, have, we go from you know, the very low end of the economic scale yeah. to very high end. So, okay. you know, so we see in East New York, you know, medium income is $28,000. And then you go Bergen Beach and all that, and you'll have a couple million dollar you know, yeah. homes with people you, with a boat parked in the slip, you know, when everybody has, you know. Yeah, but are they working on maybe low income housing, maybe from the state, from you being a They're state working in, on low income housing. Uh, well, well, you know, when they say low income mm -hmm. housing, we want to make sure it doesn't displace the people who are there. Because what's low income right. for oh. certain parts of the city is not necessarily low income for the Brownsville, East New York area. Well, why do you want we, to make sure that you don't displace people? Why should we displace people? I don't know. I'm asking. Well, you should I not. Ask the people should be. I know. <laughs> people should be able. To, you've you've built your life there. Yeah. You live there through the struggles, and now when it's changing and it's it's moving up the scale, you must be displaced. You're no longer good enough for for the community. I don't think that's right. I think they should be able to. Do so you know to, that uh, Nelson Rockefeller displaced tens of thousands of people? Yes, we do. To build the Empire State Plaza. Yes, we do. But okay. we're not talking about then. We're talking about now. Yeah, right. and, and I think we're socially conscious now when we're, when we're looking at communities that are changing. You know, what, what do you want to do? Give everybody a check and say, hey, move out of Brownsville, move out of New York so we don't have low-income um, residents? That's not what we want. Okay. It doesn't matter what ethnic group. Right. Mm -hmm. We do not want to displace people. So let me tell you, it, Canarsie, which part of... I, I used to write for the Canarsie Curry. Uh-huh. I know them well. I went a ye one year. Uh -huh. I, I wrote for them, and there was a called the hometown view from Albany. Yes. I don't know if you read my column. I saw a clip of it once. So. Oh, once. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here I am in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so then I, um, so I would write about you mm -hmm. know the uh, goings on here and how it relates to Canarsie. Mm -hmm. Which part of Canarsie did you and were you affected by Hurricane Sandy? Yes. Uh, totally wiped out. I'm on 103rd and Avenue N, and I tend to pe tell people we're surrounded by three bodies of water. So I have East 108th Street where the creek is, we have Jamaica Bay, and then you have Patagon Bay in the back of me. Patagon and, Bay. Yes. Right. And so, so the Fresh Creek came in, mm -hmm. so when Sandy happened, and you know, they were telling you, be, care you know, be cautious. We were not considered a flood zone. Mm -hmm. right. So we weren't told that you needed to evacuate until someone says, oh my gosh, there's water coming in. And you look, open my front door and I saw the body of water coming in, coming up Avenue N. You were right and, there, you mean? Yeah, standing at my door. <gasps> and I'm saying, oh my God, the ocean. And I, I remember taking my camera, the phone, and turning on the video and saying, oh my God, the, the, the ocean is coming in on us and the, the water's just coming. It's covering the cars and just really? totally mm -hmm. wiped out so, our cars. So you lost everything. My, all the cars and everything. My basement had six and a half feet of water. So how did you um, recover? Or did you? How did, do you ever recover? No. You know, you, you've lost. you don't. Yeah. And also, you know, you've lost. We, everything that was downstairs was lost. Yeah. You know, everything. There was no way of salvaging anything. And, you know, you, we, you have electronics, you have mementos, everything. And a crazy person like me, for Christmas, every new Christmas light that came out, every new um, mm -hmm. display, I would buy them. Because right. I wanted new, oh my God, I want you know, all these things. And so you, you just, where do you store them? In your basement. Okay, sure. The water comes and destroys everything. So is it built up now? So what's the story so, now? What's the present There are still many people. Right. When, when Sandy happened, many people didn't re realize that Sandy, that Canarsie was so hard hit. Right. Um, because many of the houses that were hit are concrete, it's a brick structure. And so when you drive by, you see these houses standing. But you have to come in. They're gutted inside. And then there. that's where. And then you started seeing people just putting all their belongings outside. So the personal story with mm -hmm. you. Did you rebuild your house? We did. We did, we did the basement, and um, you know, we did everything. And then you see the foundation is shifted. They said, "Oh, you have to have the engineer come." And then you're seeing again, there's a crack upstairs. You see, oh, so every and every time it rains, everyone panics. Um, oh my God, is it going to start flooding? Is the, the you know? Yeah. And so right now, what um, there are many homes that are still 
But you're but okay? We're okay. I asked, we're okay. Phil Gold, you must have something in common with Phil Gold better. Yes. yes. <laughs> when it comes to when this. When it comes to this, yes. You know, so uh, that's yeah. why I'm, you know, I'm trying to put this story together where it's just not one community. No, it's definitely not from one. From one end to the other. Definitely uh, not. I, I heard a story when I was in Canarsie that there was uh, a rabbi at Seabu Jewish Center. Uh huh. And he says, when I got here, my beard was black, the people were white, now the people are black, my beard is white, it's time for me to go. Well, that's not, that's not, you know what? <laughs> we, so was, we all have to coexist. If we tend but to... But he was losing his congregants, is yes. what I'm saying. Right, but you know what? A, a but a lot of, was, on Saturday mornings, you see them all walking. There are, there are, there are black Jews who yes. used to attend Seaview Jewish. Yeah. Don't know if you know it. What? The black Jews who were attending, yeah. who were part of that yeah. congregation. Yeah. Yeah, um, and there were some Ethiopians also. Yes. So, yeah. and, and you would see the whole family, the families well, walking they, along, you yeah, know. No doubt, so, but this rabbi had this view that because he was there from the 50s. 50s, mm -hmm. Yeah, so he yeah. had this view but that it's, now his beard is white and the community's black, so, so now we have to, have yeah. to go. But you know, so. it's interesting, because a lot of the synagogues, um, they've sold or they've, they've leased their, their yeah. space to churches now. Yeah, yeah. For example, Temple Emmanuel on, on, on Rockaway Parkway, yeah. uh, they lease, they still have part of the building that mm -hmm. they use, and then their a church has part of yeah. the building. Because, yeah, the, because congregation the congregation is no longer strong. there, yes. And so to, to survive, if you want to keep your property, those are the things you have to do. You know, the, the temple, the, um, the synagogue on 98 is still mm -hmm. there. You know, they change it to, there's a nursing home there, you know, all of, on Remsen Avenue. You know, they're reinventing. They're reinventing. Yes. Yeah, because they don't really want to sell the property. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the first thing you were told to buy when you That's came right. over on the boat from Eastern <laughs> Europe was to buy property. Buy property in America. and keep it at all cost. Yeah. That's right. You know, and, that, and the Caribbean people, that's, that's what they, they aim for. They come to, and um, they, many people moved into Canarsie yeah. because it, had this, it was a suburban area within an urban city. Is there a large Guyanese population? There, it's a growing Guyanese population. You know, Schenectady has a very large Guyanese. Very, yeah, they're always telling me that. Um, assembly, no, no, you know, they're always telling me, come on, assembly member Steck, who represents Schenectady, yeah. he's like, you have to come and walk with me up in Schenectady, and then, um, there's a council member yes. who became a guy, who was a Guyanese. Um, so, you know, they were always telling me, come on up. I'm like, yeah, I'll come up. I'll come up. Um, well, I'll kidnap you and bring you up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always telling them, I'll come by, I'll come by. And I'm always trying to head back to the people in the city. No, um, but it's very important for you to see what, there was Mayor Al Jasinski that mm -hmm. decided in the way, the I, way to rebuild the city of Schenectady is to go out to Guyana and to bring... <laughs> no, he went to Little Guyana. Little Guyana. Which is Richmond Hill. Uh, and he started telling them about... Richmond Hill, Queens. Richmond Hill, Queens. No, no, he went to Guyana. Yeah, but the people who he got there were from Little Guyana, Richmond Hill. They, they went around and they were telling them about coming uh, to this great place and, you know, promised them a lot. If you come here and, then, you know, yeah. the properties you can have right. and the, the opportunities that are there yeah. for you. And so they started moving right. from, 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 from Richmond Hill and all oh. of that to come up. Yeah, that's what... When they talk about Guyana, it's little Guyana they're talking about. Oh, well, okay, because he told me he actually went to the Yeah, country. he visited Guyana, but the people who were moving, moving were not there, from the country? They've, they're they Guyanese from, from Guyana, but I they're living they were in... not directly from... No. They were, had a no. pit stop in Richmond Hill, That's right. is what you're saying. Yes, okay. yes, yes. <laughs> Are you the first Guyanese elected official? Yes, first Guyanese born, born elected, elected official. Yes. Okay. in the state of New York, yeah. Now, uh, uh, do you have... A Guyana Day celebration at the Capitol, like they have you every know, other type of. You know, I know. We're talking actually, Michelle. And I, we're talking about that. Um, we're like, we're gonna do something. God's willing, next year we're gonna do. And you guys have to come by and see what we do. I go see to what the fun days. things. Yeah. Oh yeah, he came by. <laughs> you came by my and see how we do stuff. And that was on a small scale when I had during the caucus weekend. Um, but. Um, Guyanese people, we're a fun people, yes. you know, because we have this distinction of being the only English-speaking South American country. I didn't um, know that. That's interesting. Yes. Um, and so, so people tend to think of us as, oh, you're West Indian, but 
we are mm -hmm. the we're you know. Well, what, what's the history then, very fast then, because it's from Britain obviously. It's from Britain, all right. We were we gained independence from Britain, and this year we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary of independence. Actually, on the 26th, that's we'll be celebrating. That's, that's all it is. Yes, we're a young independent nation, yeah. um, and and so there's so we're going all out, doing doing many things, mm -hmm. um, and so on the 17th, I think we'll have some Guyanese nationals who are going to be here because yeah. we're bringing a resolution to the floor to, to commend the oh, 50th yeah. anniversary and, and the one will be at the assembly also and it's just to showcase who Guyanese are mm -hmm. too often people you know when I first came to this country people would say oh you're from Guyana and the first thing they will say Jim, Jim Jones, Jones. Yes. Yeah. which was on my birthday, November 18th. <laughs> no so, kidding. Yeah, and so every year you see for. <laughs> for Jim Jones. And so every, so we be like, well, he wasn't Guyanese. No. Mm. Why? And the people, none of the people, we're the 980, whatever, 87 people, were, they weren't Guyanese. So do you know the story of Jim Jones? Yeah, he was a cult leader. And he gave Kool-Aid to everyone, and they died. Yes. And that's where they, when this phrase came up. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. You're taking the Kool-Aid. Mm. Yeah. And it was fun it's because a shame people you was get a bad name just from some schmendrix over here, some schmoes exactly. over here. But you see, but that's what it's about control. When people allow others to control their thinking, their everything, you know, that's what happens. People are not mm -hmm. willing to think for themselves, and they let's say, "I'll defer to you," yeah. and don't you know, question I'm anything. I'm not the reporter, but <laughs> you are the senator. You know, let's go to the politics. Okay, the senator. Um, <laughs> And you are a Democrat, and that's always, the last few years, it's almost a ping pong, Democrat, Republican, who's in the majority. Do you think you're going to get a little bit of the, I mean, it's obviously better to be in the majority than the minority there. Yeah, that's what happened. When I first came to the, the Senate, people were like, why would you want to leave the assembly? You're in the, in the majority over there. I was like, well, you know, it's for a good reason. Um, but we're hoping that come election this year, that we can take back the majority. And, and that's our intention. Well, you know, every... Newly elected Senator Todd Kaminsky, Todd Kaminsky had a similar situation. Right. He was in the majority in, this, in, this, in the assembly. the assembly, and he came over. To be in the minority with a district now that's three times the size of his assembly district and getting the same, same money. That's right. So, the, so and the, the same benefit? scrutiny. Right? It's, 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 as much as three, yeah. it's, the, it's three times the size of the assembly district. And they earn the same money. Really? Yeah. And so what's the, where's the psychology <laughs> in that? But you know what, it's about, it's about what is best for your district. What can you do to enhance change for your district? Okay. That's why you do it. It's all about community. Um, if you're not doing it for the, to be further the causes of your community, then it's not the right thing to do. You know, we could all stay in our good jobs that we had um, and say, let somebody else do it. But we're committed to making sure what we bring what's best for our community. So who succeeded that's you in the assembly? Uh, Jamie Williams, and Jamie. she was sworn in today. Well, she should be so grateful that you decided to move over to the minority <laughs> in the Senate. She owes you a lot. No one <laughs> owes me anything. Well, I mean that in the No, I know, way. I know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a joke. I'm like, huh, huh, see, I'm sitting in the back and you're sitting in the front. Yeah. Like, see that? But, but, but you know, but, but the good thing is we have now a team again for the whole district, even though, you know, the, the Senate, the City Council, the Assembly, we, you know, we, we've, all, we've always worked together. And so now we have a full team again. Now I have to, since you're talking about a full team again, because I have to bring this up, okay. excuse me, but the last two predecessors of yours uh -huh. have in jail, Carl Kruger and uh, John Sampson. Well, Kruger was not the senator for that district. Yeah. It was no basement. He lived there. Right, Canarsie. but he represented Canarsie. They just yeah. redrew it. Oh, yeah. well, that's a long time. Yeah. But, well, when saying. he was in, he was in the senator at the same time as, as Sampson. They were both representing different districts. Fine, um, but, you but know what I'm getting at. In the well, you know what? Uh, that that's. So I'm hoping I mean, that you get this district on the right path. Well, I've already your started to do that. And integrity and your. your you know, I've started to do that. You know, last country. week. Uh, when you see all the craziness that was happening on television every day, it seems as though every day someone's name was called for something. You know, I, I have these relatives who keep me grounded. Okay. And I remember my cousin called me. She's like, Roxanne, 
Just want to see, see what's happening. We never want to see your name <laughs> like that on television because we will disown you. Okay. We do not want you to sully the Prasad's name. They, 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 they keep me grounded. And I, I, the, the family I grew up in, that's the way it is. You know, you, you don't envy anyone for what they have because you don't know. How, my parents always said, you don't know how to, what they did to get it. Don't so drink the I water am not. in the Mill Basin because there's something there <laughs> where first Kruger drank the water, then Samson got districted into the Mill Basin You're and funny. drank the water. You're <laughs> funny. Don't go there. <laughs> there's a guy in these people, I mean, actually I know someone who, when mm -hmm. I, because he's a merchant in my hometown, Delmar, of course, mm -hmm. and um, he's Guyanese, and we're always talking, we're always having a good time because he's saying he's, very religious, and his, you know, he knows I'm a rabbi, so uh -huh. obviously I'm religious, and we're always talking with each other. Strong family values, and very. I'm just trying to put two and two together. It just seems like Ghanese people are also, like you're saying, strong, strong grounded, that's family, right. religious. That's right. Am I correct? In that, that? That's I mean, how it know is. That many you know, people. but that is true. But you know, it, in every group of people, you always have some bad apples. Yeah, sure. You can't run away from it. Right. But you know, for the most, uh, for the most part, part, yeah. And for me, it's doing what's right. Because I have no intention of being, doing the perp walk, as they say. Yeah. Never. Mm -hmm. You're not going to, that's well, not me. Well, well so, someone said that, do you, that they should um, uh, not just close the LLC loopholes, uh, mm -hmm. the campaign finance reform, but that they should uh, not worry about the pension and the forfeiture bill. Because if, Prison's not going to scare you, right? And well, then, well. then losing your pension is not going to scare you either. <laughs> well, some some people it might. You know, some people might. There's there's something mm -hmm. that's kind of screwy about this. But you know, I think we've hit sort of the we've lowered the bar when this is the first year in so many years that maybe 15, 20 years where we could say stand up and cheer. No one's been sent. No one's been indicted this year, this session, you know? I mean, but say like, thank you, God. This is like, what? You know, who stands up and says this, you know? You know what happened? So. It's, it's this crazy situation. You want to run for office. To run for office, you have to raise funds. Right. Right? You're raising funds. And then, you know, some people, start, you start believing that, oh, you're the best thing. Because someone will come and say, I'm going to give you fund, I'm going to raise yeah. funds for you, but, you know, you're the best thing on, on earth. And you start believing that. Uh -huh. And then you start wanting to say, oh, I'm going to please you, whatever you want. You got to keep, go away from that. It's making sure you stay the course. It doesn't matter. You want to contribute to my campaign? Feel free to contribute to my campaign. You're contributing to the community. You're contributing to me. You're investing in me for me to work for the community. That's what that is. And that's what you have to remember. It's Don't think well, about very well said. you're giving it to me and what can I give back to you. But you know, it's real interesting that you're in a relatively safe district that if you don't get primary, you're pretty much clear safe. But I'm expecting a primary this year. You are. Um, yeah, there's, not, there's, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> there's a person who was filed and has been um, campaigning and who will be challenging me. Okay. You know what, I am, I'm doing what's right and what's best, and at, at, at the end of the day, at, when I go to sleep at night, I can say, today, yeah. I did my best. But, that's, but what yeah. I'm saying is that, that's, that I mean, you don't have to raise the hundreds of thousands of dollars that other senators mm -hmm. might have to raise in more widespread, contested areas that have real media uh, markets. Well, that's you're true. Gonna, you're not going to advertise on CBS Channel 2 and CBS. No, not because likely. You, you know, because you're not a, likely. Right. You yeah. have a different type of campaign mm -hmm. that maybe social media. But it's media still, or, it's still, it requires lots of mailing. It still costs money. It does. Um, even with social media, if you really want to send as much information out, there's a cost involved in that. You know, you, the website that you're, that you're using, it's cost involved in that. Yeah. So there is funding required. If you, How if much you do you think you have in a district you know, the, the way your district is made up, mm -hmm. how much do you think you have to raise in order to fend off people and, and say, you know, potential opponents? At this, this, at this juncture, it's, I was told, you know, well, we should aim to raise $150,000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's about right. Yeah. yeah. So, see? Yeah. You're getting there. 
I'm getting there. Oh, you're not there Listen, yet. Right? I'm not there yet, no. but I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting there, you know, carefully. And um, we're doing the fundraisers that we have to. Mm -hmm. And and everything will fall into place. Okay, so I do want to tell the audience mm -hmm. that you are on several committees. And one is really prestigious, the health committee. Yep. And children and families. Children and families. Cities, mm -hmm. civil service and pensions, commerce, economic development, and small business, cultural affairs, tourism, parks and recreation, and social services. Social services. All of this. It's like an eclectic is mix. Your district. All of this really That's comes right. under your district. It's social services. I have lots of foster care right. in the district. We no, have par tour tour tourism. Parks and we have parks and recreation. Right. Yeah. We have the pier. We have the, you know, I have a pier, Canarsie right. Pier. Right. You know, you have a marine park, which is the largest park. Um, That's right. Right? So all of these That's things. Right. Marine parks yeah. district. That's right. Yeah. So and it's, it's. But you're not on, like, the criminal justice things. And, like, no, that was never my interest. No. I was never interested in getting on that. I was a lot of crime in, in parts right. of the district. But you know what? You don't have to be on the committee Everything. to work on no. it. And um, there are only so many committees that, you, that That's you'll right. be on. Are, are you ranker on any? Yes, Which cities and, and social service cities. Yeah, cities and children and families. Yes, cities. Ranker? Cities, you're right. Right. That's the only one. Okay, because some minor, some people in the minority have two right. rankers. Right. Okay, so um, well, that's great. City. So do you. What? Sorry, I said cities, social services. Yeah. And yeah. Social services. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. wait a minute, so I did say two, that. Have yes, rankers. I have two. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, how is it that you're? Uh, What's the biggest issue in any of these committees that you're so passionate about? You know, there is, every legislator really has, whether it's, you know, crime or it's a certain bill, like Marge Markey today, you know, she that had this bill sex, yeah. that she was passionate about. And they were going to, you know, Amy Paulin had a bill. Um, I remember um, it was the Clean Indoor Air Act. and. Mm -hmm. uh, Dick Granis, you know, was going to fight to the end until he got it, you know, passed. My, my, my passion, um, we have the maternal depression bill. Maternal, maternal depression. depression. Okay. You know, too often the pregnant women or um, someone who's just um, had a baby, they're, never sc they're not screened for pre- or postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. And depression affects the entire family. And so we're seeing more and more women who they've had a baby and they, they're having all of these issues and no one is really, look, they're, they're, they're interacting with healthcare providers, but no one is really asking them questions that will determine whether they're really of sound mind. Um, mm -hmm. And we're seeing that they're, they're, they tend not to be. And that's why if you've seen issues where the mothers are harming their children, okay. right? And, and it's younger. Taking the mental health before there's a big right. problem. Right, so we need to do up. the pre and the post, because it affects the entire okay, family. And, and, and then we have... That's, that's stuck in the health committee? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you one other question here. You have a bill that relates to the sale of ammunition for... Yes, 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 yes. My and bill that, you know, really that... You're passionate about that. Yes, <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, when, you're, when you see a community that's affected by gun violence, yes. and the way it's been at my, the, a part of my district is, you have to do something. So tell me what the bill so is. So the, the state bill, storage bill or no? no, the bill is that um, there are two parts to the bill. Where someone who, if you if you're purchasing ammunition, you should there should be a limit to the amount of ammunition, the quantity that you're purchasing within a three month period, and you should not be able to walk into the store mm -hmm. and present your your and say to the, the person, I need to buy bullets for ammunition for an AK-47, right? When you 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 have a license for a shotgun. Mm. So we're trying to prevent people from doing that who will stockpile and give it to their friends. Um, and then, you know, the same thing with you shouldn't be able to just purchase, you know, um, AK-47s. Okay. You shouldn't. You're not arming the militia. You're not fighting in the war. Right? So That's we're looking... Governor Cuomo said you don't need 120 bullets you to kill don't. a deer. You don't. But you know what? <laughs> people have contacted me and says, you don't know what you're talking about because you do need that. And I'm like, if, you ha if you're telling me that in a three-month span you're going hunting because you said they're hunting and you're going to use 4,000 bullets, then we have another conversation we need to do to have because how many animals are you really killing now? <laughs> and if you're not killing animals, where are you really shooting? <laughs> because you said, I'm, I'm bear hunting, I'm deer hunting. Right. The law says you can't be doing that. You know, you just uh, target practice. 
<laughs> you're Mine. not going to be, you know. They're like, yeah, you don't understand. Well, yeah. And isn't there a rifle, isn't there a range off the Belt Parkway? Yes. Okay. You know, legal, anyone who has a legal right to use their... And their that's your district? Yes. Rifle range? Yes. Okay. Anyone Did who they has have a discussion with you about oh, this? No. No, okay. no one wants to have a discussion. They just want to say, "Oh, you're so wrong," you know, and then they send people after you. Okay, so but, tell, you, I interrupted you. Mm -hmm. You were saying everyone. You started to say a thought, and I'm sorry. I just the people who are coming after us, mm -hmm. who took offense to to the bill. Who? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Um, you know, I, they know who they are. We're not gonna gonna yeah. name them, but um, but it's 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 my obligation to ensure that I'm doing something. Okay. To, for the safety of my community, to stop that. Do you have what's known that. as community guns in your district? No. Do you know what community guns are? Not really. That's where gangs hide guns, like under the steps or in a trash can. Oh, this wasn't called when, community guns. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? And then when someone needs a gun, yeah. you know, that they tell it's, you, oh, you go over that's here, we'll just hide a gun. Gun. That's just called gang stashing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, in, in housing developments, they were having those issues. Um, and you know we're, they're doing patrols and all of that yeah. to to ensure that people are not doing that. And then you're asking people if you see someone doing that um, to call it in, let let the police know, let the the, the tenant association know, and all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we because we don't want them stashing guns. Um, it's not just with the stairway. They used to do it on the corners. You know, they, someone is the watch lookout and they have a garbage pail there, and they would put all their, their things there. Um, it's not only guns that they were putting doing that with. It's um. All right, so so let me. You're living the dream now, in the Senate. I, is it really my dream? You know, I th I think I've spent my life living my dream, because uh, of all the things I wanted to do and all the things I've been involved with. So it's just. Is this a pit stop along the way, or are you going to be like Hugh Farley and be here at 83 years old? No, you know, you have to see. I want to be able to stay here to have me affect positive change, and then see where what else comes. Okay. But you're always looking forward, you know. It's like you're, you're you young, ask for you're, guidance. Yeah, you're young enough where that's right. You know, so listen. My grandmother is a hundred. She's going to yeah. knock away. She's going to be a hundred and one. So, and I want to be living to that age. And she's independent. And she's independent. I don't think she lost her sight. Right. But so I want to be of that mindset, yeah, you know, yeah. and all of that. So very nice. Well, keep up the good work, well, Senator. We're glad that you came. You're doing good things, and Thank like you. you say, continue to do good things, and we'll. Check in with you in the future to see where you're... Uh, Thank you both. Continued Thank success, you. really. Stop by my office and we'll chat. I, Thank you. All right? I know where Thank you, you are. Thank you. You do. <laughs>